Hey, good evening, everybody. Gonna take you guys through a system that we that we got wrapped up this evening here. We switched out the submersible pump, increased it from a three quarter to a one horse. They were complaining of low pressure. They got to go up a hill, so we went ahead and increased the size of the submersible. You'll see right off the wellhead, we have a pre-filtration sample tap, which we also have off the accessory tee, along with pressure relief, pressure gauge, and a 4060 pressure switch. Coming back behind our filtration system, you'll see here that we're going to go first through a 50 micron bag. We do have a shutoff so we can isolate the pressure system for any kind of diagnostic work or servicing of the filtration. After our 50 micron bag, we're going to go through our sanitizer. Again, you'll see these in a lot of my videos. I'm a huge fan of them. The sanitizer in this system is dealing with iron. It's dealing with manganese. It's dealing with pH correction and it's dealing with the initial hydrogen sulfide that's going to be passing through it. Following that, we have a system here, the Impressions Plus, that's going to be dealing with any of the iron that may pass through and any of the remaining hydrogen sulfide that is not treated by the Sanitizer Plus. During the regeneration cycles for the Impression System, we also have an ozone generator. So the Impression System, the top third is a dry cell, it's a gas, uh, I'm sorry, an air chamber. We're going to go ahead and strengthen that up and boost it up with ozone gas, as well as enrich and strengthen the media bed with ozone gas. It's basically a very safe form of the exact same kind of chemical reaction that you get from chlorine without the residual carcinogens. When the ozone gas breaks down, it goes from O3 back to O2. Then at the end, we have a 2501 dual gradient polishing filter going through here. Just after that, we have our post filtration sample tap. We also have a check valve because we are going uphill. And in the event that we have to service the system, including the check valve, here you will find a shutoff valve before it goes up to the home. So that's the system. Sorry, I tried to make that one quick. She came out real clean, real pretty, and uh, we're happy to we're happy to move on. All right, guys, if you have any questions regarding your water quality, water treatment, anything construction related, you know who to get a hold of. Reach us at TotalWells.com. Start the process there with a service request form. Thanks so much. God bless. Bye.